everyone, como ya saca fet? It's your girl Jasmine here, back at it again with another video. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I picked up at Wegmans. There is one Wegmans store in New York City and it's actually located at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. I decided to go there, pick up a couple things, but I did not even know they had a large selection of vegan foods and snacks and all that good jazz. And so I'm excited to share with you a couple things that I bought now. Just FYI, I don't normally buy processed foods like this. These types of foods will really rack up your grocery bills. So to save money on food, on groceries, I don't recommend buying this often. I normally just stick to the fruits and vegetables at my local grocery store, but this is just a nice little treat. And I also wanted to share with you the things that I bought so that way you can switch out your foods with plant-based options. So without further ado, let's get into it. Here is this bag of groceries. It's a lot. First, I have some bananas. Always gotta have some bananas on deck. I love putting these in my smoothies and they're just a quick thing that I could just grab and go. And a weird thing about me is I don't like eating bananas that when it has the spots, but I can use the bananas with the spots in my smoothies because it's a lot sweeter and I don't have to add any like agave or anything to the mix. So just a little fun fact about me. <laughs> Next, I have some king oyster mushrooms. I developed this weird allergic reaction to regular oyster mushrooms. For some reason, whenever I eat it, I throw up. So I really can't eat it anymore. But king oyster mushrooms are still it. And I love these, especially when I'm making ramen. Kind of has the consistency of meat, but not really. King oyster mushrooms are so, so good. So I highly recommend you try these out. I can sometimes pick them up at the farmer's market. I actually rather pick them up at the farmer's market because I don't have to deal with the plastic packaging, but I gotta get it where I could get it. I picked up some tri-colored bell peppers because I do have some ramen in the house and I kind of want to make some ramen and i love to beef up my ramen with bell peppers and mushrooms and spinach and all that good jazz again i didn't need to purchase the ones in the plastic but i look i just i was in a rush and i look i'm just giving myself grace all right next up i picked up this wegman's raspberry apple juice i never tried this before but i like raspberries and i like apple juice so it makes sense i think i'll like it and it's cold pressed apples, raspberry juice, all that good jazz. So I can't wait to try it. And you know, just something aside from water that I can just like quench my thirst with, you know what I mean? I also picked up some mixed berries because like I said, I like making smoothies in the morning. Berries are a great source of antioxidants and they're good for your lady bits too. So anything that's good for me and my lady bits is good to eat. So I'm going to eat them. I also picked up an onion and three avocados. These avocados are not ripe yet. So I'm just waiting for the day that they are ready so I could just dig in when I make my chickpea omelets or when I'm making guac or just anything involving avocados. I usually like to buy them when they are not ready yet because I can just put them in a brown paper bag with the bananas and they can ripen up really, really quick that way. That's a really good tip. This is probably the last of my uh, natural foods haul. I'll definitely be sure to film an, a separate food haul that includes just natural foods, things I would typically buy from my local grocery store. So stay tuned for that. And while we're here, are you subscribed yet? Because if you're not, sis, join the fam. We got a lot of stuff going on here. Makeup, fashion, travel, hair, food, all that good jazz. So subscribe, subscribe to my channel and let's continue on with the video. Next up, I got some Beyond Sausage. It actually tastes like sausage, like sis, was really good. And also, I like buying Beyond Meat products anyway because I actually invested in the company. And so, you know, I kind of want to help out my investment a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, Beyond Sausage, great for breakfast. Great for any time, really. I'll be eating it any time. I, I was eating it with my rice and beans the other day. It was actually really good. And with 11 grams of protein per serving, can't nobody ask me where I get my protein? I get my protein just fine. Thank you very much. 
Okay, next up I got the Kite Hill Cream Cheese and I don't think I've tried this before but I like chives and I kind of miss cream cheese. I actually end up buying some bagels. Uh, the brand is Odo's Thins. Every once in a while, if I'm like running late, I can just pop this in the oven and make me a cream cheese bagel for lunch or whatever with some Beyond Sausage. What? I just... Next thing I picked up is Just Egg. This is made out of mung bean protein. I don't really know what mung bean is, but yo, when you cook this, the resemblance to egg is uncanny. I've been vegan for five years, so the feeling, the taste, the texture of egg is not lost on me. For snacks, I only have one snack, and that is from Vegan Rob's. This is the Vegan Rob's Dragon Puffs. Back in the day when I was a young little one, I used to love cheese doodles. Throughout my time as a vegan, I've come across uh, like one or two brands, Hippie, Chickpea Snacks. Uh, they're kind of similar, but they don't have that soft kind of consistency like cheese doodles I used to eat. And I'm hoping that this kind of has like a softer texture, the kind of melt in your mouth type of texture that regular cheese doodles has. We'll see. I haven't tried this out yet, but I'm really excited. The last thing I picked up from Wegmans, it's not a food, it's not a snack, it's actually a multivitamin that I've been taking on a regular basis. If you guys are wondering the type of multivitamin I like to consume, it is from the brand Garden Life. This is the Mind Kind Organics Whole Food Gummies. These are actually the prenatal multis, and I like the prenatal multis because they have more vitamins than the regular multivitamins would have it has the folic acid and all that stuff and it's also good to kind of like prep myself this has made taking vitamins fun you take four of these a day i usually take them in the morning right before i go with my iron pills and then i'm usually good for the day just in case i'm unable to consume my my usual intake of vitamins and minerals i know that i am covered with this epi that's it that is all that i have for you guys today look it was only one bag of food because the bill like i said was it was not cheap i hope you found this video useful and informative if you did please give it a thumbs up if you want to see any recipes with any of these products definitely let me know in the comments section make sure your notifications are turned on that way whenever i post a video you will be the first to know and that is all i am signing out i want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel and i will see you all in the next one peace Is that it? Okay.